Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do Metaspoil introduction. Uh, it's part of the CompTI Pentest Plus learning path. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I already load my start machine, attack box, and yeah, the machine, okay. All right. Let me close this off. Uh, so task one is introduction to Metaspoil. And it says Metaspoil is most widely used for exploitation framework. So it talks about two versions, pro framework. And today we're going to do that tap box version. So that's the framework version. Tell us about the main components, MSF console, modules, and tools, and answer the questions below. No answer needed. Let me see. It's working. Okay. All right. Let's go open the command. Console. All right. Task two. Main components of Metaspoil. And uh, you can just follow along. Put this. So it talks about encoders, invasion, exploits, and NOPs, no operation, payloads, and post modules. So as you know, guys, uh, these videos, are, I'm just going to show you how to answer these uh, questions, but I strongly recommend to reach to read each task to get a full understanding of what it's all about. For example, it says, answer your questions below. What is the name of the code taking advantage of the flaw of a target system? So you read the paragraph. It's talking about payload and exploit will take advantage of a vulnerability. So. There you go. And let's see, let's try this out. Let's see if this works. Let's see, copy, place, clipboard. Unknown command, try this story. Want to open a new tab? No such framework. Must be a different directory, but gotcha. You want familiar yourself? You can find under modules under. I see embedded modules. Gotcha. Let's try CD. Yeah. All right. Let's see. This do you mean? So worry. Let's try this. There you go. And there's the uh, encoders. Same thing. Let's see, uh, let's try evasion. Windows. Oh. All right. There's exploits. Directories for files. 
then uh, no operations. Okay. And then payloads. Oops, wrong one. I'm just following along the example, guys. Uh, you don't have to do this. And then there's uh, so four directories, posts. It's a good practice to uh, type everything out. So, error post. Well, there you go. So the second question, what is the name of the code that runs on the target system to achieve the attacker's code? So what's the name of the code? I believe payload are the codes that will run on target system. So let's try that. Or payload. There you go. Next question, what are self-contained payloads called? Self. Stage. Payloads, well, stagers. So stagers. Stager. Stage. Stage. Let's try self-contained singles. Okay, never mind. Okay. And it says Windows slash X64 ping back under slash reverse under slash TCP under among singles or stage payload. So as you read, when there's an under between show and reverse, it's single. Let me see. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Uh, let's go task three, MSF console. So again, you can just follow along like LS. Top of this command. And then uh, let's see help slash help. No such command. Same thing. CI help set. Set option value. Okay. Then talks about history. So just the history path. Then uh, let's try to use exploits Windows SMB MS seventeen zero one zero under slash internal blue no result. Let's see. All right, looks like example. Now it's again. And show options. So it shows the same R host, L host. All right. Same thing, user, let's see, show options, show options, show payload. Same thing, a list of the payloads. And then back. All right, info. So these are just the command. Info module. Oh, well, let's see. Let's, uh, 
info known as eternal blue so all the information of the module and okay back search ms17-010 same thing so we just talk about the search command and there's example search type So again, it gives you a list of a whole telnet module. And uh, just follow along the example, guys. That was pretty simple. This is answer your questions. How will you search for a module related to Apache? So we search function Apache. Very simple. Next question, who provided the auxiliary scanner SSH, SSH? under slash login module, use the info command. So again, oops, let's go back. Actually, let's, uh, Let's try this use the exploit. Uh, I might get this wrong, but it's, it's, it's you know. Provided actually, let's try this one. What to search type auxiliary? So, all right, we're going to look at the scanner SSH. Scanner SSH. This one's auxiliary scanner SSH SSH. Use info command, let's see. Provide auxiliary. Say number. Let's try this one. Let's 
info. There you go. And that's it. TODB, I think. So exploit use auxiliary scanner this pathway and info. So I believe is. Provide by TODB. All right, let's go to task four, guys. We're working with modules. And let's see, set parameters. Regular command prompt, metaspoil command prompt. All right, let's see. Uh, back. So there's context. Meter prep there, system, the show options. So we already exploit, same thing, following an example. ID name automatic target. Then I'll set our host. Oops. Set our host 10.10.165.39. There you go. Then uh, show options again. All right. What's this example? PWD cat targets. So this example is setting targets uh, text. All right, let's try again. On set all. Flushing database and setting database on the show options again. All right. Let's try again and see. Use exploit. Let's so follow along. Set RG host. So set. Or so set group. Oops. Keep forgetting the IP. So yours might vary. And so right back. So it says use auxiliary scanner. Let's try that one. I'm just following the example to the left, guys. It's not uh, new information. If you guys get lost, just pause and. Uh, just look to the left every time when I type something in the right uh, Linux box. So show options. All right. Then uh, exploit Z. Let's C parameters, okay. Unreachable. All right. <clears throat> we'll say nothing is going on here. Let's see. 
skip that. That's for meter prep there. Let's see, sessions. So there's no active sessions right here. What an example there is. Let's see, uh, back sessions, no active sessions. All right, let's answer your questions below. How will you set the L port value to 666? So set L port 666. Pretty easy. How do you figure that out? It's uh, back to right here, parameter setting, command syntax. This is the syntax, guys. And next question, how you set the global value for our host to 10.10.19.23? So it will be set G, our host, uh, or host 10.10.19.23. Yep. Same parameter. Right here, set G command. Let's see if I can find set. So same parameter with the set G. And next question, what command we use to clear a payload? So unset payload, yeah. You read the example, it says clear, unset G, unset group. And last question, what command do you use to proceed with exploitation phase? Exploit, right? Yeah. There you go, exploit command to exploit. That was easy. All right, guys, task five summary. Just talks about summarize of the Metaspoil tool. Read it and answer the last question. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Um, trying to pump these videos as uh, fast as possible to help you guys to how to pass pen test plus. Uh, I'm not in the IT industry, but I already passed the CompTI certification. It's recognized by my work, and this is something I really like doing, and uh, I hope it helps you guys. So thanks for watching, and next time.